With the ankle held in dorsiflexion against the surgeon's chest, the medial portal is created, two centimeters distal to the musculotendinous junction. Puncture the deep curl fascia using a hemostat into the plane just posterior to the gastrocnemius tendon. Insert the clear cannula and trocar into the plane between the gastrocnemius tendon and the deep curl fascia. A lateral portal is then created inside out. The trocar is removed. Insert the sponge-tipped applicators to clear the inside of the cannula from any fluid or debris. A 4 mm arthroscope is then inserted with the camera turned towards the gastrocnemius tendon. In some instances, the camera can be aimed posteriorly to view the saphenous vein and sural nerve on the lateral half of the leg. If there is soft tissue overlying the gastrocnemius tendon, use a plane finder to dissect into the correct plane. The cannula is then removed, turned 180 degrees, and reinserted. Rotate the cannula to where the open slot is facing the tendon and remove the plane finder. The gastrocnemius tendon is then released from midline to lateral using the hook blade under endoscopic visualization. The camera is then switched to the lateral portal and the rest of the gastrocnemius tendon is released from midline to medial. At this point, the instruments can be removed. Passively dorsiflex the ankle joint to demonstrate improvement in ankle motion. The portals are then closed using sutures or steri-strips. When performed in isolation, the patient is generally allowed to weight-bear as tolerated in a boot.